Hey guys, the ref here from Think Tank. Um, in today's video, we're gonna talk about posing a character. And um, there is different ways to pose a character from ZBrush, Mudbox to Maya. And um, in this case, I'm gonna show you the Maya version with using the quick rig tools. So we can put in a rig into our character and get away from our boring A pose and make something more interesting out of it. This tutorial is not meant to do a deep dive into rigging, so don't expect anything complicated. This is really just um, how we can get to the result as fast as possible and as easy as possible without too many technicalities in between. All right, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, we are in Maya here and um, I have imported my character in a very relaxed look in A-Pose. And this is gonna be our starting base. So first thing you wanna do is click this little figure icon up here in Maya and open your quick rig tool. Um, the quick rig tool is a very, very simple um, thing to accomplish just putting in a rig in place into your character. There is a, even a one click uh, method to achieve a fast result within a second. Um, but the problem is with that, that usually the points where the joints are located are a little bit off and we have to manipulate those later anyways. So my preferred way is to do a step by step. But before we do this, we want to click this plus, plus icon over here to create a new character setup, basically. So hit this button, then select your mesh and add it to the geometry tab in step one. Number two is creating the guides. So just hit that button here and it creates these tiny little spheres. Basically, they are a representation of where the joints or our most important joints are going to be. And you can just activate your manipulator and move those into place. It needs that much of anatomy knowledge that you know where your joints are. So we kind of place these here a little bit from the front and the side to be located at shoulder elbow and wrist and this here will be pretty much a little bit our clavicle position here we can space those spine joints out as well on these guides just to be a little bit more stretched over the full height of his torso here for the hip joint i think we're pretty good as it is i'll just move it slightly out and just double check it from the side knee little up to the front ankle little down to the front and the foot just in general a little bit more here in the center of the foot more towards the where the toes are all right um, I don't want to do this on the the other side as well so we can have an easy fix for this just by shift control dragging and selecting all these points here we've already adjusted and hit in number three the mirror button and we want in this case screen right to left and it adjusts all the points on the other side as well for us all right number four um we gotta make sure that we put t stands correction off we don't want that in there create an update it puts a skeleton for us into place and our next adjustment here will be the skinning. And before we go into skinning, um, we just have to understand that this rig right now, if we select these controls, we can move it around, but the geo itself is not moving along. Um, what we need to do for this is we need to connect the rig, basically our skeleton to our geo. And this can be done with step number five, just hit create an update and you are good to go. This is the first part of our rig. So now here you can take it and you can pose your character. Be aware, of course, we have a lot of volume issues happening here when just moving the character around. You can see how we have a weird influence of these arms or the elbow joint still kind of bleeding into the torso and affecting those regions as well. Um, this goes a little bit more into um, more advanced things called weight painting for rigs. This can be easily done here as well. I will cover this at the end of this tutorial, but for those of you who don't need this, those of you who really just want something simple to pose and then sculpt over in ZBrush later on, this is all you need. And you can have fun now posing and exploring different positions for your character by just using the controls and the manipulators to pose that character out in whatever way you want that to be.
one thing is important when you're posing your character that you basically always check it from all angles because sometimes it looks great from one angle but then you change it to another area and it looks completely off and you need to take care of that so make sure always double check from all sides from all angles that your character has the optimum weight distribution and a nice pose from all different views all right guys this pretty much wraps it up for the quick rick basic introduction you know now everything you need to pretty much explore a couple poses, play around with things, um, not including hands, not including weight painting. Um, this is why I created the second part four, where we actually dive into how to rig the hands or how to integrate the hands as well into your current base rig scenario. Again, this is not meant as a rigging tutorial where I'm diving really deep into all the technicalities and how it's properly done. This is really just the way how to get a rig fast into a character and then proceed with sculpting after you created your pose. Click here for the next part. This will guide you through how to add the hands. Have fun.